Hello, comrades. And uh, in my last video, I show you the Lambito 3088A, a retraction pen. And after a video, yeah, because I think that tip was too thin, too pointing to me. So I was so clever, and uh, I decide to, um, and I'm so confident about my craftment, so I grind it and uh, I failed to be honest and uh, I ordered another tip that is I ordered another factory tip but before I put it on I just show you how this how I grind my e Pyrrhus EF nib now to a stud nib but I just can't smooth it anymore it, now it's just uh, let's have a look. Ah, oh, you see, it's horrible. It's it just I feel so much resistance. I have using my best sandpaper to 10,000 but it's still it's still horrible now it's a stud nib but it's not absolutely not smoothing at all You see? That's not very pleasant either. Thank God, thank God. I was able to get another brand new nib. But anyway, once I put on the brand new nib, I think the nib will stay there. And I'm not going to complain again. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just not worth it. How to remove the nib? Very easy. Because you, you literally can't take the the whole nib unit out for this pen really. What you need to what you can do actually is you, you pull it down there you pull it up there, you see here is all the nib unit was out. Then you using a fingernail clip, remove it and put a new nib on. Then reposition the seal cap, reposition the seal cap and drop them. So I will be back when the nib has been replaced. Now I decide I just go live and I'm going to show you how the entire process, why not? You see, you just put the seal cap underneath and give using your fingernail if you have some give you some pull yeah it's losing Can you see it? Come on! The clock is ticking! Otherwise, this video will...
Hold on. I need a. No, I don't want to get my. No, I have to use a finger. Fingernail clip. Here it is. Now we have it. That easy. And this it will be a factory factory EF nib. That's the nib I was complaining about. But even even it's the nib I've been complaining about, it will be much better than the nib. I and put it back on. It's easy, yeah. Oh, it's so feel much resistance. It's not that easy. Yeah. It's very very tight. Yeah, you have to use a bit. Force, but without breaking any thing of this one dollar. Even it's one dollar. That's a very clever design. One dollar. Would that be another strategy if I? Yeah, it's smooth, but now I need to get it down to the button. Why wow, it's so tight? Final push. You have to make sure the cap is closed securely because you see I didn't push the nib to the very bottom because it's so tight. I believe I believe that's the best I could push. Yeah, that's the best I could do. It's so tight. And you have to make sure when it's being retracted, you have to make sure the nip is not long, the cap it was was able to close it properly. I believe so. Let's. Okay. So that would be. Let's have a look again. <sighs> Give it a push. What do you call that? Prime ring. Prime ring the nip a bit. Oh,
very smooth. Yet yeah, it's a steel thing. It's still very thin to my taste. But I'm telling you, it's smooth. It's so smooth. It's a joy. Oh. Okay, everybody. My advice: if you if you buy this Lambito, yeah, if you buy this Lambito in EF or IZF, don't grind it. Just stick with the factory nib. That will be even it's thin, even it's narrow, but that's the best. But but that that's that that will be the best solution for you at the moment. Don't grind it. Don't don't try it at home, unless you are some kind of master. Are you a ma? Are you a, are you a penman? Are you kinds of nip master? If you are nip master, you won't be seeing seeing my video anyway. Okay, everybody. I believe that's that's the this video is about nip swapping. No. Not really anything repair, but it was just uh, to replace the to replace the clever nip by being destroyed with the factory nip, and I tell everybody, don't do anything with the EF nip. It's so delicate. That thing is so tiny, and uh, that's definitely beyond the uh, beyond my ability, and uh, and if you decide to try. But my experience tell me it's not worth trying. It took me two or three days for for a new nip, but it could take it could but it could take you it could take you a lot of fortune and times in your case. Okay, I believe that's so. Bye. And uh, yes.